What's up guys? Real quick, I just want to let you guys know about this month's giveaway. Um, we're not doing the course giveaway anymore. We did that last month and congrats to the winners. Right now what we are doing though is we're giving away one hour of free consulting and we're picking the winners every Monday. If you're seeing this, go ahead, drop a comment on this video along with the other videos on our channel. There's no limit to how many videos you can comment on. Basically, if you drop like two or three comments on all of our videos, you're just gonna increase your chances. Now, don't spam us, please. Don't say like, you know, weird stuff. But what we do prefer is that you you comment what type of videos you guys wanna see next. You know, what, what problems are you guys facing so that we can make videos on that and help you guys out on your OF journey. Hey guys, I broke my finger, so ignore that. But real quick, I just wanna preface this video by saying, these are the types of videos that you'll be finding in our course. You know, these really in-depth breakdown videos that are showing you guys what to do and how to actually get you guys from point A to point B. And so I've actually taken a lot of these course makers courses on OnlyFans and they usually leave out a lot of information. I think this is because they forget what it's like to be a, a complete beginner and know nothing about the platform. And so they just kind of go over basic setup and hop into some marketing methods, which we also do. We hold your hand through the setup process. We have PDFs that are giving you, that are giving you templates on the, how to set the bio up. We have, we have whole templates on bio structure and, and Tinder bios and uh, Instagram bios, Twitter bios, etc. along with templates for your actual Reddit or your OF banner. Basically a bunch of templates that give you a copy and paste option where you can maybe tweak it a little bit, make it your own. But we really go in depth from the perspective of being completely brand new to this whole industry and this whole process because i've taken a ton of courses on of just to kind of see what others are talking about and i haven't seen a single video like the video that i'm about to show you where it's showing you how to step by step fill out the paperwork and get it over to your model now i get that it might seem redundant or it might seem that well who needs to explain that it's self-explanatory it's really not you know there's people who are who might just be starting out and you just need to remember that everybody starts somewhere so that's kind of where we're going with these videos is to just bring as much value as we can to the people who might just be starting out along with some other videos we might get into later that are more advanced but we won't we don't want to jump straight into those videos we want to break down the basics first and just make sure everyone's on the same page this is just kind of some insight into the style of videos that we flooded our course with i like to make videos that nobody else is really making or putting in their course you know videos like uh tinder unbanned method nobody's talking about how to actually get your tinders unbanned everyone's saying oh move on go to the next one true but you can also unban it they say oh yeah just get a new one just uh, burn the account well that might be true but also if you're saying that you're probably a veteran you probably have uh, the process down to where you're doing it on computers through lollycat with proxies etc this is more targeted towards the people who are just starting up and maybe they're just starting out on a couple you know actual physical iPhones so you know i remember there was a point where we were literally there we had our first model we had um these are some of the phones that we started out with so it's like as you can see i still have we have a shit ton of phones laying around but when we were starting out this was a this was an expense for us you know it was like we better swipe on these phones and make it make money or else it's not gonna make sense so that might be where you're at where you know you might have a phone or two you can't really afford to just swap the phone out and you can't just go out there and get a new phone um which is totally fine if you're at that point so yeah we have videos like that where i'm showing you guys how to get your phone how to get a device unbanned on tinder no one's talking about that I, i'll show you for example this phone right here has been banned uh i don't know f uh, five times i'd say uh this one right here is currently banned this is or one of these is currently banned and i'm actually going to do a video showing you guys how to get unbanned because i know some of you guys can't just move on to a new phone or you don't have the the actual computer process down and you're still doing um manual swiping which is fine but i'm just saying our videos are trying to help everybody out at every level so every day we're thinking of different video ideas you know just different video breakdowns how to set up your proxies how to set up chatters how to verify your tinders how to unban your tinders etc how to do documents the list goes on we're right now we're working on version two so so we're always trying to think of ways that we can 
get you guys new fresh content and help you guys out at the same time so before we jump into this video go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this drop a like and if you can drop a comment you know let us know what type of videos you guys want to see next if you're facing any specific issue just drop us a comment we, we read them all so that's about it I just wanted to touch on this real quick and let's hop into this video what's up guys real quick I'm gonna show you guys how to process documents and how to properly onboard your model uh, basically let's say you just signed a model and you need to get them under contract you need to get this document over to them so that they can sign it and get it back to you and so that everything is legit so these are our terms this is our terms of agreement document right here as you can see on your screen <laughs> and uh yeah this is actually included in the course along with several other documents and some um, some other onboarding documents just so that you're coming to your model in a professional manner i know it seems simple but when you do onboard a model how we onboard our models with all the right documents um they really seem to appreciate it. They seem to get excited. It's just that much more legit when they receive these onboarding packets along with the onboarding message that we send out to them. Just to give it that little personal touch and make them feel, you know, a part of the team because they're on the team now. So as you can see on this document, um, the first thing you're gonna wanna fill out is your agency name, company number, blah, 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 blah. Make sure everything that you need to fill out is filled out and every little space that the model needs to fill out is blank. Make sure there's enough space and just make sure that your document is spaced out properly and it looks nice. Now, I didn't always do this process in the past. In the past, when I was just managing models on my own before we started the agency, um, I would kind of just take on a creator and take over her account or make a new one. I didn't really have this official process. It was kind of just a, a handshake agreement. Like, hey, I'm managing your account now. But you want to head towards a more professional route. You want to legitimize, <laughs> legitimize, legitimize, legitimize. You want to legitimize, <laughs> leg you want to legitimize your agency. Why does it sound weird now? legitimize legitimize you want to legitimize your company and um yeah having this process down it, it gets the models excited you know it's it's like a job interview and and they feel like um it's like congrats you passed you're on you're on the team now it's it gets them excited to work with you as opposed to just taking her on and you're kind of like hey we're partners now um now if you want to take this a step further you could also make an intro video like this where Maybe you're talking to the model, onboarding them, but in my opinion, that's a little that's a little impersonal. Um, I like to actually send them a, a little message personally and just welcome them onto the team. So where were we? So let's hop into the document now and I'll show you guys how we actually do this process. So here's our document right here. This is our, our terms of agreement. Um, go over every go over any document that you are potentially sending out to someone. You just you want to make sure it, it all makes sense it's all um, there's no typos and everything that you need to fill out is filled out obviously I know it can seem tedious um, for individuals like myself who absolutely hate reading but this is important you know it's a legally binding document you want to make sure that everything is filled out on your end so that when you send it out to your model all she has to do is fill out her part and you're not gonna have to redo this process so here's the document we basically fill out everything that we need to fill out we leave these blank spaces where the model actually has to put her information make sure you leave enough space so that the document doesn't get cluttered and end up looking like shit and yeah so that's it basically just review your document make sure it's ready to send out to your model um, we use Google Docs so when you're ready to export, this is also important, don't export as a PDF because PDFs are not editable. Editable. Um, you're gonna wanna export this as a Microsoft Word or a .docx. All right guys, so I'm in this website right here. It's called Doc Hub. And this is just basically a free alternative to DocuSign or Adobe Sign or uh, Panda sign any of these signature collecting platforms, whatever you want to call it. This is a I believe you get three free um, Signature requests now we have the free version or we have the we have the premium version So I think we get unlimited uh, but I mean it's 
if you're just starting out, I doubt you're gonna be signing more than three models a month. Uh, I mean, hopefully you are if, if you can scale that fast, but you should be good with a, with a free account. Yeah, three signature requests a month. That seems like plenty. So next we're gonna go to new document. All right, and I cannot show you guys my downloads because there's some content in there that I will get banned for if I do show you guys. So um, go over here, drag and drop your document. Very simple, this is a very, that's why I like this, this website. It makes it really simple. So yeah, I mean, you could do a PDF too if you leave enough space and you don't wanna, you don't need to edit it, but I like Word documents. All right, so we're in the actual document now. This is where we're gonna add these text fields. It's super simple. You pretty much hit this little text field right here. So all you do is click, it'll add your text field, go over here to placeholder text. And this is where you're gonna type in the actual text that needs to be put there. So model name, this is model name also. Model address. And like I said, make sure there's enough room so that your document doesn't get cluttered. Again, <laughs> model name. Lastly, we have manager name. So for the actual signature, this is a different little button right here. You're gonna hit signature field and just click where you want them to sign. You're also going to need to sign the document. And uh, let's add one more text field just for the date. All right, so your document is set up now. All your text fields are in place. Now what you're gonna need to do is assign all these text fields so that this document knows who needs to sign what. So I'll show you how to do that. Go over here to people and you're gonna wanna add your email right here. Uh, manager at gmail.com. OFManager at gmail.com. I didn't spell any of that right, but uh, so, you're wanna, you're, so you're gonna wanna hit add. So now that your email is in the database, go over here. And as you can see above the, the text field, there's this little button where you can assign who needs to sign what. So see how it says NA, you're gonna wanna click here, change that to your email because this is the part that you need to sign. So you really just need to fill out three things on this um, on this document. So next, you're gonna wanna go over here to people and add your model's email, um, sexyofmodel at gmail.com. Add. So go over here to prepare sign request. And as you can see, it says there are five unassigned fields. Go ahead and click sexy OF model. And that's basically gonna assign everything else to the model. Now you can do this manually like I showed you guys, um, but that takes a little bit more time. This is a quicker way. Now you can also send this out in a specific order and you can have it to where you need to sign it first or she needs to sign it first. Also, there's an option to hit all sign at once. I like this option just because um, it won't actually send the email out to the other person until the first person signs it. So I'll typically have the model sign it first just so that I can review it, make sure she's filled it out correctly, make sure there's nothing missing. Um, but you can just hit this to all at once so that every, everybody can sign it at the same time. So I'm gonna do a little test run here, show you guys what it looks like when the email gets sent out. So I'm gonna send that to myself. A sign request has been sent. So let's go over to Gmail and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so we're here in Gmail right now. And as you can see, it comes across, it says action needed. I like that because it's, uh, you know, it seems urgent and there's kind of no way you can miss it. So right here, this is how it comes from Doc Hub. You're gonna wanna click view document. So you're gonna agree to this, let's do it, blah, blah, blah. Um, go through the document, sign it, your model will sign it, send it back to you. And from there you can go out and send any other onboarding documents that you have. Just to, you know, uh, just to welcome her on with open arms. I'm gonna show you some of the documents that we send these, this is our, um, we like to send them a content creation slash posting schedule. Uh, we like to get, get together with them and figure out what their schedule is like, figure out what days they're actually gonna be able to create content. Um, we like to have them pick a day out of the week 
where they can just knock out a bunch of content. And then lastly, this is our client onboarding uh, document. This basically lets them know what to expect and it lets them know what we actually need from them as well. There's a couple things that we need from them when we onboard them, such as her uh, picture of her license to confirm her age, um, some, along with some other pictures um, for certain websites. So this is basically the process we have when onboarding our models. You know, it makes them feel special. It makes them feel like they're a part of the family, they're a part of the team because they are once they sign with us. And so we just want them to feel that way. Guys, real quick, it's funny. Um, while I was filming this video, one of our models sent me this text right now because we actually onboarded her today. She said, awesome, I signed the paperwork earlier. I'm excited to work with you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, as you can see, they appreciate it and you just want to welcome them with open arms and let them know they're a part of the team because they are now and so and so you just want to make them feel that way. I hope this video helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so I hope this video helped you guys out. If you don't know who we are, I'm Bloomy, this is Daniel and we're working on the channel right now to get you guys as much content as possible if you are an OnlyFans management company or a creator yourself. Now, we do actually have a course, so we're constantly working on this course and if you're looking to scale your agency or your own OnlyFans career up into the six and seven figure mark, this is a great course for you to dive into. We go over the basics along with advanced scaling and marketing techniques and we're constantly updating it we're currently working on version 2.0 as you can see daniel right here is doing so but while we're talking about it version 1.0 is on sale right now we're doing a holiday sale it's 99 dollars, and it's worth way more than that so that's a little bit about us and if you're new to the channel go ahead and drop a like subscribe all that good stuff it really helps us out also drop some comments below if you have any questions for us if you have some topics that we can maybe touch on in the next video like i said we're busy working on the course right now but when we get some time i like to knock these little videos out and help you guys out give you guys as much knowledge as i can in my free time so i hope this video helped you out and stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next one